Hello guys. This is me, Dark Rick PR. Here I'm showing that my new custom room I made for the people Max and the One. Okay. This video is to prove that this tablet can be install the Clockwork mod and install the my ROM via Clockwork mod. Okay, in zip file. So let's start it. We are going to boot the Clockwork mod by pressing the minus and powering up the tablet. Okay. Let's start it. Okay. Here it is. Still pressing. Don't still, um, hold the, the negative the minus volume. Okay. Here it is. Okay. Put it. Okay. We are going right now to wipe data and factory reset. Okay, let me turn off the flash so you can see more easily. Okay, let's go right now to mount, mount and storage, and format the system. Remember, we need to format the system. If not, we are going to mix the old ROM that you have in the tablet and the new ROM you are going to install. So you need to format the system. Okay, let's go on now and install the custom ROM. Go into and choose zip from SD card. Low, uh, find the custom ROM made. This is a new one. The Clockwork Mod V1 Jelly Bean based on the based on the N90 firmware. Okay, so let's flash it. It will start opening the package. This will take a little time, so don't get scared. It will flash and finish. So you will, it will look like it, it's getting, it got freeze or something, but let it stay, it will finish. Okay, I will go in to wait. I really prefer to. I'm not the spray experienced ROM developer or something, so this is my first custom ROM I made on a tablet, so I really prefer to do this via the Clockwork mod since the Clockwork mod recovery with this package I made, you don't have to to modify the kernel or board it put image so it's very secure I think and I prefer it because every if you got a problem on the system or something you can go back and recover it and reset it again so I really don't like to be using the RK batch tool on the PC with I don't know maybe it can get it can get stuck and give me a brick tablet so I prefer the clockwork mod and right now on the play droid people saying that this doesn't work on the RK chipset but right now I'm, I'm using it so it's working and you will see that the custom room I made with the N90 works works perfect on the people max and the one okay let's go back and reboot the tablet okay okay the people max logo show go in seconds and start booting to the boot animation like you can see I haven't do any modification yet to the build prop or anything yet it's still the 90 90 boot animation also I have to do many modifications just the application itself so you will see it's very stable 
it I, I think it's even more faster than the original People Max Finware jelly bean. Let's wait. It will go into food. You will see this talk about. Okay, here we are. I have installed two launch, uh, the another launcher, different from the original. I really like very much the Go Launcher HD. It's very nice. Let's try first the regular, the default launcher that it comes with the firmware. Okay, as you can see, everything seems to be working. Even go to landscape mode, everything seems to be working. Okay, but button on the works, volume works. Okay, let's go to Wi Fi. Okay, okay, let's turn on the Wi Fi. Let me change, let me change the language I really don't know anything about Chinese okay back to the Wi-Fi as you can see Wi-Fi is working let me connect Okay, it's connecting. The Bluetooth also works. As you can see, also turn on, very nice. I haven't tried yet the HDMI, so maybe later it will be. Let's go to about the tablet. As you can see, like I say, the build prop is at, I haven't changed it. It's a real, original build prop, so you will see the model, okay? Let's back. I'm now connected to the internet. Let's go to the H launch, Go Launcher. I really like the Go Launcher. Very nice and looks awesome. It's very fast also. Okay, even you can slide up down and there's another slide gadget. So let's go to application. Uh, over here you can see I removed everything about Chinese applications so I don't really don't bother I didn't like it so yet I put the the root so just yet I haven't tested so I'm not sure this is working I also install a more another market this is very nice also let's go over there and download a game here very fast let's see what game we can download uh, so we can test the GPU is working also Angry Bird over here let's download it since, since this is not the original market you have to go to settings and put the on security we need to go to unknown sources so you can install APK, APK files. Okay, let me put this up always so it doesn't matter again. Uh, the game is downloading. Let's go to browser. Okay, the browser is working also. Let's go to SlateDroid.com Oh, there it is installing the game Let's go back to the browser Let's search over here to the arcade forum So you can see where I'm 
put in the files for this tablet. Okay, people think oh. Okay, people or okay tablet. Thingware. Okay, there are oh, over there the custom ROM. This is my custom ROM. I made the gene generic mod. Oops. Let's go on open it. Okay, here is the tablet. Okay, here's the this first mod that I made was based on the Q U30. So and maybe I'm going to change this and continue using the the N90 firmware as a base to make it my custom ROM. So because I, it feels more fashion even than this trying this one. So I have updated the forum so as you can see test on the people max this doesn't work so don't try the that version we will need the new version I'm going to post it soon like I say over here I'm working on the N90 base firmware okay that's the new one I want to be posting soon on the forum okay let's back again to the game okay Angry Birds it's loading Okay, it's loading. There it is. It's very fast. The, this thing works feels so fast. <clears throat> really, this is a very nice thing. Where? Okay, let's see this. It's working. Okay, there it is. It's working. Okay, let's go to try on that, that YouTube application. Oops. Okay, the YouTube application also works very nice. No lag, no nothing, so it's working. Let's try a video. Okay, as you can see, it's working very nice. Okay, full screen also works. As you can see, everything seems to be working in this firmware. So I don't know. If you want to try it, try it. You won't lose anything really because it's being flashed via clockwork mode, so it's very secure, really. So if you really don't like it, you can go back again and flash another type of ROM or even in the original ROM. So you have nothing to lose. So try it and thank you for watching this video. Okay, Thank you people.